Cute. I know it's really cloudy. You know, a uh, quick fact, I've actually never flown a kite before. Have but you not? <laughs> no, but it seems like today's weather was perfect for it, as Katie uh, mentioned there. Yeah, and we're going to get some more gusty winds over the next couple of days, so you might have another chance okay. Okay. tomorrow, <laughs> maybe even into Monday as well. Wow. So, good news there. Thank you. It's going to be uh, pretty cold out there tonight, Matthew. And today was one of those days where the weather was... Oh, it's doing its own thing. We're looking outside right now. This is from Maryland, and you can see we have got some snow showers out there at the moment, some flurries across the area, but that's not the only area that's seeing some snow. We've actually gotten some grapple throughout the day today. So look at one of our weather watchers photos uh, from today. Now this is from Burke, Virginia. You can see a few of those little itty bitty dots uh, out there on the ground. That's some grapple that fell. Another picture from Maryland from one of our weather watchers. Uh, thanks to uh, Rebecca for sending this one in. All those white little pellets, they kind of look like dipping dots. That's called grapple. Now what that is is super cooled water attaches on to a snowflake as it starts to fall down, and that's what makes this a uh, little pellet like snow that we see. Now, it was one of those weird afternoons where it wasn't necessarily cold enough for it to be snowing. Now, it was cold way up high, but as that snow came on down, it started to melt a little bit, and that's how we get these little uh, pellets that we call grapple. Now, as we continue throughout the rest of your evening and into the overnight hours, skies will continue to clear out from all of that wet weather, and it's going to be a pretty chilly one. We'll drop into the 40s over the next couple of hours hours and most of us will wake up tomorrow morning with temperatures in the low to mid 30s. So if you're out early for a run, I would make sure that you are bundled up by tomorrow afternoon. Partly sunny skies, but still chilly out there. High temperatures ranging between the mid 40s to uh, low 50s. But we've got to talk about feels like temperatures because it is going to be very gusty heading into tomorrow. Winds sustained at about 15 miles per hour with gusts anywhere from 25 to 35 miles per hour. So we'll start off the day feeling like the upper 20s to low 30s, but check this out. By 3 o'clock, we're only feeling like the mid 30s. 37 there in DC, Manassas at 39, Fredericksburg at 34. So even though your thermometer will be reading close to about 50 degrees, it's going to be feeling much colder. So any outdoor plans that you have for tomorrow, I would just bring them inside. Because of the wind, it's going to be pretty miserable out there. Unless, of course, you're going to go and fly a kite. It might be just perfect for that. Into tomorrow night, it's going to be yet another cold one. Most of us will We'll wake up Monday morning with temperatures feeling like the teens. So keep that in mind for uh, dropping the kiddos off at school and then we're at the bus stop Monday morning. We're going to go through a future cast here because we've got some uh, sun, but we also have a pretty significant amount of rain uh, moving towards the DMV over the next few days. So Monday, we're nice and sunny, a little bit breezy here and there. A few showers will start to roll through very late Tuesday, carrying over into the early morning hours of your Wednesday, but we're clear by about Wednesday afternoon. Now, our next round of rain will come through there on Thursday. Right now, widespread showers across the entire DMV. Our chance for severe weather is relatively low. That risk is more off to our south, but still, since this is several days away, of course, we'll continue to monitor that threat right now. Thursday, that's the day to watch into Friday. A few sprinkles early in the morning, but that clears out by the afternoon. We've got sunshine on the way for your Friday afternoon and even into the start of next weekend as well. Here's a look at that seven day forecast for you. Temperatures. Yeah, they're going to be cold for the start of the week. I hope you didn't pack away those winter jackets quite yet, but check that out. Thursday, we're back to the 70s. Not too bad out there and we'll stay relatively warm heading into next weekend. Don't go anywhere. There's more news and weather coming up.